going on, YouTube? Y'all already know, man. It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, man. It's early, y'all. Uh, it? it is gym 30 time. So I'm finna go hit the gym, get this grind out. Um, I'm gonna let y'all see what I got on feet, you know, as we start this vlog off today. Um, this is the first time I'm actually gonna try to put together a complete vlog where I'm trying to vlog all this week since I'm off work. Just give y'all something different, something new to the channel that I don't do a lot of is just stepping out recording my day-to-day -day things so i want to hit y'all with that this week um so if y'all new to the channel this y'all first time rocking out with your boy go ahead and hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and join the sneaker dungeon family all the love and support is greatly appreciated and it does not go unnoticed let's try to get this video right here up to 50 likes hit it slack it and whatever it is that you do just make sure you do what you do at your best because at the end of the day that's all that matters man let's start this vlog off let's go Gym, man, that shit was lit. I'm glad that I'm done though. We're gonna start the day now. We're about to go back to the crib and change, and we're gonna slide to the mall. Ooh, what do we have here? This right here from the Broski Tops World. Y'all see, man, I said my bro Top sent me a package, man. Uh, man, I told bro he ain't had to do this. I ain't got no knife, but uh, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna get this thing open, man. Hey, I really do appreciate it, Tops, man. If y'all know who Tops is, man, I'm talking about Tops World, man. That's the broski right there, man. Head over there. I'm going to leave his link in the description box. He sent me over this package. And y'all, y'all won't even believe what it is, man. Man, I'm, I'm beyond, I'm beyond, uh, man, this is beyond me. Like, bro, it says, and it says, Dear the Retro Wiz Kid, thank you for rocking with your boy showing me and my channel nothing but love here's a gift for you to make more fire vids once thank you thank you so much it's your boy tops world from tops world hey salute bro shout out to my broski tops world man and y'all so tops recently just picked up a 4k camera and he was like man bro i got this g7x bro i'm not gonna be using it bro sent me over a camera y'all like like bro, I am so happy. Like this is, I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit shocked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nobody ever did something like this for your boy, man. So I really appreciate it, man. From the bottom of my heart, bro. Like we, hey, we trying. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to bring the visuals to y'all better. I know a lot of people that use the G7X. I was talking to my bro, Jumperman Chris, about it. Um, I know that um, it's just it's a great vlogging camera. The vintage and I were talking about it as well. And hey, I'm I am I am greatly appreciated, bro, that you thought of me to give to bless me with this camera. So y'all know I'm always using my phone. If y'all didn't know that, it's not that I just didn't want to buy a camera. It's just that I never could find the right camera for myself. And the vintage and I, we were talking about the G7X a little while ago, and it just so happened that Tops had it. So. He sent over the camera, y'all, and we're going we're gonna to put this thing together, and I am going to turn this thing around for y'all, and I'm going uh, I'm to flip it around. So, we got that G7X with that flip up. So, now I will be vlogging with this, y'all. I'll be shooting all my videos with the Canon G7X. It's a great starting camera for when you're trying to get used to using the camera. And, hey, I'm so greatly appreciated, man. I'm about to take the camera. I take the camera, take the phone off this, and we're gonna switch switch this around, and we're gonna start vlogging with this for the rest of the day. So we're gonna see how the quality changes, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy, man. We got some stuff to do, so let me go ahead and you know what I'm saying, change up, and we're gonna get to the vlog. All right, y'all. So we just got to the mall. I'm gonna slide down here. Hopefully they got these shoes still, cause I really want to see what they looking like. If them shits is trash, I'm gonna tell y'all they trash. So. Let's go ahead, head to Shoe Palace, see if they got them still, and we're gonna rate these things right now.
So the purpose of today's vlog was for me to go check out these Air Jordan 1 High OG Jordan Coutures. And I must say, you can see, like, it look a little wrinkly right there on the toe box. The shoe, all in all, is not bad. Um, when I first saw this shoe, I did go for it on the sneakers app. And I ended up, you know, I waited. And I waited too long and I didn't hit on it. But then after seeing all those pictures, you know, and hearing what people got to say, you can see right here, closing up, you can see that's like, it's like some specs on there already. And this is a DS shoe um, in the store, Shoe Palace, San Antonio, Texas. But seeing the shoe in hand, I really thought the quality of the shoe was going to be a lot worse than what people were saying. It's not as bad, I feel like, as what people are saying. It does have a couple discrepancies on the shoe. Y'all know I collect retro ones and I love retro ones. Um, before everybody, you know, saying what they had to say, I still wanted the shoe, but I wanted to see the shoe first in hand to see. And as y'all see, I'm smashing down on this toe box right here, just trying to see how it feels, how, how durable it is. I still do. I would say, honestly, I feel like this particular pair is better than the 2013, um, Jordan ones that came out. This is not brick like, like those. But it is stiffer. It's like the crossbred between the newer way that they were retro in the shoes with the tumbled. And it's like they went backwards and gave us that 2013. But it's it's, a, it's slightly better, I feel like. But you can see it, it does have a little bit of creasage in there. How do y'all feel about these shoes? A lot of people I know picked these up. The price was kind of steep on them for the quality that they put on there. We're so used to seeing that tumbled leather. So I just wanted to see how y'all feel about these inside the sole is a little bit different however i'm gonna show you this shoe right here which is the van skate high and it pretty much has the same vibe y'all so this is the leather quality that i was hoping to get on the jordan one couture it was kind of like how you see on these vans uh same type of vibe with the red going down it checkerboard on the inside something different very very fuego y'all already know and i'm talking about fire flame and you can check save 100 bucks if you get these so it's up in the air. Get it! Sneaker Dungeon, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that vlog. I don't know how I'm gonna piece the vlog together, but shout out to the bro Top Twirl, man, blessing me with this new camera. Um, I hope y'all can tell the difference. I definitely can tell the difference. Um, so it is dope, man. It's dope, man. And I really appreciate it, bro. Y'all make sure y'all head over there and y'all follow my bro Top Twirl. I'm gonna leave his link in the description box, man. All the love and support is greatly appreciated for me. From, you know what I'm saying, from y'all, man. So y'all make sure y'all head over there. How do y'all feel about them Couture ones? I mean, like I said, they, y'all saw them Vans, man. Them Vans kind of look just like those. It's just that 
I feel like I feel like they could have did a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I almost picked them up as much as I'm talking shit about them because y'all know I love my retro ones, and I just feel like if I should have picked them up, man, just for the fact of me being a retro one collector. But I didn't want to make that impulse buy and just buy them, so I'm gonna sleep on it tonight. If I pick them up tomorrow, y'all gonna know I picked them up tomorrow. But it's one of those shoes where it's hit or miss. I do wear sneaker shields in my shoes, so it's not like I was really that worried about like messing the shoe up like that. But the leather quality, as y'all saw from the pictures, and I mean from the visual that I gave y'all, that it it, it was. It's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing to be like, oh shit, I'm going to pick up them Couture ones. It ain't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I can say the butts pick up those bands that y'all saw. Them bands was kind of crispy. You know what I'm saying? They had that leather. Then they had the checkerboard on the other side, and they still had that red, just like the Coutures. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, let me know how y'all feel about them ones, man. I didn't really do a video over that, and it's just like I didn't, I didn't do a video over it. So I just wanted to get y'all's opinion on those, man, because I really I'm. A, I don't know y'all I honestly I just don't know I don't feel I feel like they could have did that shoe a little bit more justice but if y'all new to the channel this y'all first time rocking out with your boy go ahead and hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and join the sneaker dungeon family all the love and support is greatly appreciated head over to Instagram and follow your boy at the retro whiz kid posting them pictures for y'all over on Twitter at whiz underscore retro and I do follow back and don't forget to splash that like button over there on Facebook man all the love and support goes a long way. But I love y'all, man. Keep rocking out with your boy. Tomorrow we're going to do some vlogging for real, man. Today was kind of, I ain't going to lie, after I, I charged one of the camera batteries up. And I was just like, yo, I got to go see if they got them shoes still. Because I saw them on Saturday. And they said they got a limited supply in. I think they got like a, a full size run. That's pretty much it. And they have like four shoes left. So, so they said. They said, but you know, people be saying what they say. But I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog, man. I appreciate y'all rocking out with your boy. I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow in the next video. Get it!